Ischemic heart disease, commonly known as coronary heart disease, denotes an insufficient blood supply to the myocardium due to the blockage of epicardial coronary arteries, typically attributable to atherosclerosis. A diagnosis of chronic coronary syndrome, also referred to as stable ischemic heart disease, can often be established in most patients through a classic presentation of angina pectoris, in conjunction with either risk factors for or a confirmed history of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Lifestyle modification and non-pharmacologic therapies, including healthy dietary habits and exercise, are recommended. Cardiac rehabilitation provides patients with chronic coronary disease significant cardiovascular benefits. If there is a question on an intervention that can decrease morbidity and mortality outcomes in a patient with chronic coronary disease, choose cardiac rehabilitation. Even if the patient does not have diabetes, a sodium glucose cotransporter 2 inhibitor or a glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonist is recommended for patients with chronic coronary disease due to improved outcomes. Long-term use of beta blockers is no longer recommended in patients with chronic coronary disease. However, if the patient had a myocardial infarction in the last year or has an ejection fraction of less than or equal to 50%, then a beta blocker is recommended. What is the first-line antianginal therapy for a patient with chronic coronary disease? Choose a beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker. What is the first-line therapy for lipid lowering in patients with CCD? Stay in remains the treatment of choice to lower cholesterol levels. If the LDL is still above the goal, adding azetamib is recommended before adding a PCSK9 inhibitor. Are fish oil or omega-3 fatty acids recommended in patients with chronic coronary disease? No, they are not recommended in patients with CCD due to lack of benefit in reducing cardiovascular events.